it's Elizabeth here and today we're gonna do a very late 200 subscriber special video aka, AKA story time I'm gonna share a story about myself with 200 subscriber video today and as you can see I don't have my sunglasses or glasses on because uh, I'm too lazy to put them on and as you can hear I'm really, I'm really tired because I am I want to go sleep straight to sleep uh as soon as i finish as soon as i finish this video but anyway i'm gonna start my story now so i i feel like this this story can be related to by a lot of people mm. so let's get started so it was back in 2020 yes it, it was during the pandemic when when COVID happened and started from March 2020, I, I, I just started, like everyone else, we started having a lockdown and I, I just started to spend days with my, with my parents back then. Yeah, every day and in the in the, for a very long time I just didn't like it because, because I used to go to school for six hours a day and not see my parents for six hours so it was pretty chill and with nothing nothing bad or conflict happened between us but you know I was 14 years old in 2020 and you you know what a 14 year old is like I, I just I just didn't like the idea of being locked at home and all, all of a sudden I have to spend all my days with my, with my parents so you know it, it, was, it, was, it just wasn't good and we had a lot of fights and i just and i soon became depressed too but i didn't know that i was depressed i just felt re really bored like i couldn't see my friends or hang out with them but I, everything was still going pretty fine until i started using discord well i already had a discord account back in 2019 but but it didn't last long and I deleted my accounts just a few days after I created it because I didn't feel like using an app and talking to people online like that but here I was in 2020 I started using Discord again and I used Discord to talk to a lot of different people online and also using it I also used it to stay in touch with my school friends and I joined one of my friend's server, he, he had more than a hundred people in his server and one day I, I just I just happened to stumble upon one of this channel in his server where he posted very less safe for work and you know it's it's really bloody stuff I don't want I don't want to say much about it here but it's really a lot of violence and it's just too brutal for people to watch in general but but yeah, there I, here I was, and I, I just become, I just became addicted to watching what I call bloody stuff during those times, and f for literally no reason at all. Even though I knew it was unhealth unhealthy, and it really scared me in the beginning, but that was how it was, and, and yeah, so I just became addicted to bloody stuff and talking to people online in general for a, for a very long time I just I just thought that I just saw online as my real life and real because also in reality I didn't have to face anyone and just stay in my house the whole time and it and it lasted for a long time like that until school started and I started I started ninth grade in September of twenty twenty. For the first, for the first quarter of ninth grade, I was doing I was still doing pretty pretty well. I had a three point five GPA back then, and everything was fine until the second quarter, where I was you know on online online learning. It it wasn't fun, and I just. And I just didn't pay attention in almost 
in my other five classes except math class because I've always had a liking for math. <laughs> I, I know, I, I'm a very kid, I know. And yeah, so I've been on like that. I, I didn't, my grade in second quarter wasn't as nice as the one in first quarter. And I, I also didn't have much connection with my classmates in ninth grade and mainly relied on Discord people. But I also also met a really nice nice friend on Discord and I'm still in touch with him today. We actually met on Steam because I just created my Steam account not not long back then and I, I just started adding random people there and I saw this guy with a really interesting profile. I just added him as he started and we started talking soon afterward. But yeah, he's a really awesome person. But it really it really lasted like that. In the second quarter I just didn't do well. And and my English teacher called home that I had a lot I had a lot of missing assignments. Yeah. It it, it wasn't nice at all. But but yeah, I finished my missing assignments. And li life went on in third and fourth quarter. Those quarters were pretty darn miserable because I, I just couldn't follow up with the progress in all my five other classes except math. And and what's even more scary was that by the end of ninth grade in, in fourth quarter, I had to do summer I, I felt three classes and I had to do summer school for all of them. Uh -uh. But, but yeah, it was in, 20, in 2021, it, it was still a pretty fun year for me until 10th grade started, which was, which was in September of 2021. And and in the beginning, I thought I, w I would just adapt into a new environment of real high school, just flying like how I was with middle school, but it really wasn't. During the first few months, the first four months of 10th grade, I was really nervous. I was scared, scared of talking to people and I avoided people, just I avoided all kinds of crowds just really far away. I, I I was almost always alone. Very talking, talk to people, and I, um, one of the mo most one of the most memorable things about that was in was when I, when I first had my uh, in, in my early days of my chemistry class back in tenth grade. My chemistry my chemistry teacher was just like, "You guys just got back from a." big lockdown, it's time to talk to some new people, we were old friends, talking up again, blah 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 blah. Everyone, start, everyone around me just started moving and talked to their friends and other people while, while I, just, I just sat there watching everyone else. All of a sudden, I just felt so scared and, and so helpless and just so nervous sitting there. I felt I wanted I wanted to cry, and it, it and inside I just I also felt I wanted to throw up, but but I try try to control myself so hard, and I, and I was on my and I was typing on my phone so. I I felt like that could, kind of hide my emotions, and and no one saw what I, how I was feeling. And but at the end of the class I. At the end of the class, I just, I just cried out loud, and my teacher was like, "What what 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 was what was happening, Elizabeth?" And I, I was too scared to tell my chemistry teacher that that I was really nervous during the social gathering. So I just made up another reason that was saying how my friend just just didn't didn't reply to me and stuff like that, and she just kind of believed me and. That's one one part of the story, but tenth grade. 
I didn't I didn't know what was going what was wrong with me or what was going on with me at all, and I did, I didn't have friends during the first two quarters of tenth grade. I'm sorry. I I I was just uh, I was really lonely. I I wanted to find friends, but I, but I couldn't. B because how nervous and how anxious I felt. I also felt very really depressed and back then for weeks whenever I go to school I, I could just sit there by myself and not talking to anyone all day long it it, it, was, it was really like that for me and, uh, and I just became more depressed and depressed and depressed and and my, and my mom and my mom found out and and she insisted that I should go I, I, I should go to a therapist at, at the beginning I well of course I, I did want to uh, as, soon, as soon as I felt depressed back in the beginning of the pandemic but, but I just didn't know that I felt I felt dep I felt depressed or what was going on with me. But my mom is insisted that I should go to a therapist in the end of 2021. At the beginning, I didn't want to, but she insisted. So, I, so, so we just signed up and got into a wait list of the of the therapist. And one month later, I I met I met my therapist, and she told me what was going. She told my mom what's going on with me, that I had depression and anxiety. And I, and I, I was really sad, but also not. And and yeah, the therapist also said that I, I might have PTSD because of school bullying. Yeah, I was bullied back in fifth and sixth grade, and I might share more details on that in my future videos. But now the story goes on. So yeah, um. From January twenty twenty one till March, no, from January twenty twenty two till March twenty twenty three, my my therapist worked with me to improve my my issues on social anxiety and depression. And un unlike other people's experiences, I had a really positive experience with my therapist. She she was always there for me, really patient, and always gave me advices not just my therapist but also my counselor she always gave a lot of suggestions and advices on to to me to me academically and and after I started seeing my therapist and counselor it, it was third and fourth quarter it was also then my grade started to go up again and it had a lot of improvements and, and yeah by the time by the time in June, in June 2022 I already felt already felt a lot better and I was already able to talk to people and not scared of you know people crowd in general and I st also started talking to my friend I then knew since 8th grade so yeah, it, it was it was a lot better, and last summer I also had a really fun su summer as well, and by the time eleventh grade started, September twenty twenty two, I was finally able to got rid of most of my depression and anxiety, and I made two awesome new friends in my eleventh grade year. And, and right I still go to a therapist but it, it's more like a checking or checkup overall I can control my temper and emotion as well as having social having normal social socialization and stuff like that but but yeah I hope my story I hope my story can convince a lot more people to seek help for themselves you're not alone mental health is 
it's not shame. It's as important as your physical health, and I and I never understood why there's so much stigma around it. And even even myself, when my when my mom first in, insisted that I should see a psychologist, I don't know why in the beginning I just, I just felt that it was so embarrassed, especially I'm um, Asian. Our culture just has so much stigma against it, but now when I started, I started to live it differently. Um, and I'm doing I'm doing pretty well, except I'm just a bit tired right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening to my story. Please subscribe, like, and comment about what you want to see next. And I'll see you next time. Good night. Bye.